Good Friday afternoon from the Laugh Pig Kitchen. What interesting stuff have y'all had going on this week in the kitchen? Well, here's something you don't see every day. Possum grapes, fox grapes, wild grapes, um, summer grapes. You'll hear people use all of those names for these guys. We got a call just a few days ago from Zoe's granddad who has a beautiful 22 acre property outside of town. He said, I was down by the barn and there's a huge vine of fox grapes dangling from some of the bamboo down there and they're ripe. Are you interested? Yes, I am. We were over there the next afternoon picking all of this beautiful mass of wild possum grapes. Look at them. They're gorgeous. They're tiny. If you've never seen these guys before, they're like little tiny, even smaller than blueberries. They're really tiny fellows. They're potent little tart guys. Is this something you're going to want to sit around and eat? Probably not because they're very sour, but they make really great jam and jelly juice. And for our kitchen purposes, they're going to make wine. Do you remember several years ago when all the rage was resveratrol, the substance that was an anti-aging, I think antioxidant, who knows what other miracle it performs, that they found in wine grapes um, in particular, grapes in general, and got the craze for red wine being healthy again going. Um, botanists, as they, were, as they were looking at, at the resveratrol, in grapes found that wild grapes actually have a way higher concentration in them because they're not the pampered cultivated grapes that we generally find that we eat in the grocery store. These guys have had to scrap it out in the wild and develop their own resistance to disease and be able to flourish and ripen and leave their seeds for the next year. So these guys are absolutely chock full of vitamin C, of antioxidants, of resveratrol, all of this other good stuff that um, professors, doctors, and scientists um, like T. Colin Campbell, for one. Dr. Campbell has written the book Whole that discusses how eating or consuming these substances like our vitamins, our minerals, our antioxidants, if we can consume them in as close to a whole food form as possible, our bodies can use it a whole lot more effectively. It's a lot more bioavailable than trying to suck resveratrol or vitamin C out of these, put it in a pill and then take it. Your body's not going to process it in the same way that it would the actual food. That's a really good book in the event that you're a science geek like I am who wants to know what's going on in the inside of your body when you're eating your food is Whole by Dr. T. Colin Campbell. So what we're going to be doing with our crop of possum grapes is making some wine because that way I get all of the benefits. I have a fermented product that is yet another home probiotic that I have made myself that I know what's in it. Oh, and it's wine. Even better. <laughs> so I'm not going to have you watch everything that we're doing right now. We're probably going to do this in stages because winemaking does go in stages. I will tell you what's going to start here in just a little while when our little pig gets home from school is all of the fun that goes along with mashing the juice out of these grapes. We're going to be mashing grapes all afternoon. The grapes are then going to get fortified because they are so small. I am going to fortify them with grape juice. This is organic grape juice from um, Trader Joe's. So we'll be fortifying it with a little extra grape juice, giving it a little bit more flavor than what we're actually able to get out of these tiny grapes. And that we'll have sugar and our wine yeast. That's all we'll be using in this. We'll get our batch going. We'll video as we can to let you know and see how we go about this process. The entire winemaking process takes the better part of a month or so. It's mostly just a waiting game as you wait out the fermentation before bottling. But this is going to be a really great, not only healthy tonic, but tasty tonic. And again, it's wine. What could be better than that? And I can make my own right here in my kitchen. So stay tuned with us. 
and see how our first, very first experience with making wine out of possum grapes goes. Laugh pig, laugh all day, have a good afternoon, good Friday.